To me, it just seems obvious. I don't want to cause pain to another living, empathetic creature. Joaquin Phoenix, vegan. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Supreme Master Ching Hai thankfully present Wombat Rescue and Sleepy Burrows Wombat Sanctuary, the Shining World Caring Award, plus 15,000 US dollars each. With heartfelt love, praises, and gratitude, may all involved be forever blessed by God's grace. Shining World Caring Award recipients. Kind-hearted efforts creating loving havens for wombats. Part 2 of 2. Continue watching to learn more. Magnificent viewers, the vibrant Montserrat and overseas territory of the United Kingdom and the Caribbean embrace you with true love and joy. I'm Andrew. Welcome to part two of Shining World Caring Award recipients, kind-hearted efforts creating loving havens for wombats. Everywhere in the world, we can observe and be touched by acts of kindness. People from all walks of life, faiths, and cultures extend themselves beyond the call of duty to help others unconditionally. Even loving, caring animals also contribute in this noble category. Through their noble deeds, humanity as a whole is elevated. To commend virtuous actions and encourage more people to be inspired by their examples, Supreme Master Ching Hai has lovingly created a series of awards, including the Shining World Leadership Award, Shining World Compassion Award, Shining World Hero and Heroine Awards, Shining World Honesty Award, Shining World Protection Award, Shining World Intelligence Award, and Shining World Invention Award, etc. These awards are to recognize some of the most exemplary, generous, caring, and courageous people who walk amongst us, as well as heroic, beautiful animal co-inhabitants whose acts are worthy of praise and gratitude. In the previous Shining World Awards show, we featured Sleepy Burrows Wombat Sanctuary founded by Ms. Donna Stepan, which provides veterinary care for hundreds of wombats each year in Australia. Today, we will learn about another great woman who dedicates her life to these cute marsupial friends. If I look at wombats, to me they are absolutely an iconic animal. This is the only place on earth where you can find this beautiful animal. We should really protect them. Yolandi Vermake used to volunteer at Sleepy Burrows Wombat Sanctuary at New South Wales, Australia, where she was part of a good team working with the sanctuary's founder, Donna Steppen, a Shining World Caring Award recipient who we met earlier during the show. However, wanting to do more, Yolandi founded Wombat Rescue in 2018 and began to drive to habitat areas searching for injured and orphaned wombats to rescue them. She also started a campaign of eradicating mange, a life-threatening infection for wombats. Her heart's passion of rescuing and protecting the beloved marsupial has turned into her life's mission ever since. I came to this country seven years ago with my family. And before that, I've never seen a wombat. I didn't know they existed. 
in this beautiful country. But when I held that little wombat, I knew that this was a love story that started. Um, I fell in love. So I volunteered at the Sleepy Burrow Sanctuary, starting to learn about wombats. But I soon realized that there's more out there. There's so much out there. I started doing rescue work and then I stumbled onto the whole issue of mange, which I also didn't know existed. Rescue is really important. It's about 30% of what I do, but mange treatment is really where the need is the greatest. Usually when wombat activity and human activity overlap, that's when the accidents happen. So my work in doing rescue would be early morning, um, starting from 2 to 3 a.m., leaving the house, and then I just venture into New South Wales usually. There's, there are specific areas that I do travel, uh, just basically traveling every road, seeing if I can find wombats, and I usually find a couple um, that's been hit during the night. Um, I need to rescue them, I need to make sure that if they're still alive that they are taken care of or if there's a little pinky or joey that's still alive that they need to be rescued. Um, and off we'll go in the dark, we'll have our torches at hand and we'll set out to a destination that um, a member of public has given her the address. and. Then we'll search and search and search and search until we find that wombat. Yep. Landy does never give up <laughs> until she has found um, the little critters. So there's many different areas that we're able to support the wombats indirectly. For example, changing legislation so that there's the same sort of um, protections and supports to native animals as there is for domestic animals. Also in terms of education, um, you know, being able to educate the next generation, but also the general public. One message that I'm quite keen to spread worldwide and specifically in Australia is that mange is terminal in wombats and the only way for them to survive is to if we provide treatment. If we don't, they have a mortality rate of 100%. It's vital that we do these programs because we are basically run, racing against the clock. Once they contract mange, it's depending on the season, anywhere between six to, to nine months before they die. Wombat Rescue started an extensive mange eradication program in late 2018. It adopted a new regime of intensive treatment by installing the medicine device burrow flap at entrances of the burrows. Wombat Rescue also worked hard to enter into dialogue with the legislator and to spread the word into communities. So I started in the south of Canberra called the Gurgong Southern Reserve, where in the end, the program extended to 160 burrows, and that covered about 80 wombats, which was quite big. And I think the amount of volunteers I needed to conduct that program was between 10 and 15 every week. So my volunteers would meet me every Sunday morning at eight or nine o'clock. We would go into the reserve and we had about three hours that we serviced the burrow flaps and repaired them because wombats do damage them refilled all the caps with medicine and making sure that all the equipment is still in place um, and then all doing documentation of, of everything we've done and this went on for about 18 months we are now in monitoring phase For such a noble life-keeping service, our beneficent Supreme Master Ching Hai thankfully present Wombat Rescue, the Shining World Caring Award, plus 15,000 US dollars financial gift. Dear Yulandi, it is with great admiration and gratitude that we present to Wombat Rescue, the Shining World Caring Award, for your loving dedication and tireless efforts to care for these iconic marsupials. The award is presented in recognition of your caring spirit 
driving vast distances between dusk and dawn to save and rehabilitate distressed wombats until they can be released back into the wild. Your unconditional love heralds a new era of empathy, making our world a kinder home for all. You founded Wombat Rescue in 2018 out of a noble desire to do more to safeguard this emblematic yet vulnerable species. Long ago, you fell in love with the fairy bundles of joy, then became a volunteer, and wanting to do more, founded the rescue mission. Your calling in life was discovered and an angel of mercy was born. The hours are long, the distance is vast, yet the satisfaction you derive from saving these precious innocent animals compels you to continue. In addition to constant rescue efforts, you conduct an outreach program for young adults and children that advocates conservation, raises awareness of the threatened state of the bare-nosed wombat, and educates about ways that we can save these beautiful beings. Every animal has a story to tell, every rescue is unique with its own reward, and every day your dream of establishing a haven becomes closer. For your selfless commitment and courage, for your positive never give up attitude, and for your benevolence and warm-hearted concern, with high esteem we salute the great compassionate deeds of Wombat Rescue and its saintly founder, Yulandi Vermark. May heaven forever smile on you and all involved, with great honour, love and blessings in God's grace, Supreme Master Ching Hai. Thank you so much. This is such a beautiful letter. When I received your email the first time, I was in the Blue Mountains searching for a very sick wombat. It was cold, it was miserable, we couldn't find the wombat. I thought, this is, this is not real. How does this person, Supreme Master Ching Hai, know about me and the work we do? And it's just, I felt so humbled and so honoured. In recognition of loving devotion and tireless rescue efforts, saving countless precious animal lives, inspiring community awareness and empathy, in deep, heartfelt gratitude for your noble, caring services to vulnerable wildlife and for nurturing a kinder world. In her letter to Supreme Master Ching Hai, Yolandi wrote, I was simply blown away by the recognition and generosity of this donation. From all the wombats in Australia and from me at Wombat Rescue, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for Hare's compassion and love toward Hare's precious children. Our heartfelt thanks to you, Yolandi Vermeek, and all the volunteers of Wombat Rescue. Your kindness has brightened up the life of our treasured wombat friends. May divine love forever shine upon you and your loved ones. For detailed information about Wombat Rescue, please visit wombatrescue.com.au. Supportive viewers, we hope you have enjoyed today's show. Up next is Be Wise and Have Peace in Your Country, Part 2 of 3 on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. We pray that a kinder world for all beings will soon be realized. Vegan, because we don't want murderer's karma. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash SWA. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique SWA. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada SWA. Unsere Sendungen bieten viele Sprachen. Gehen Sie auf suprememastertv.com schrägstrich schedule und suprememastertv.com schrägstrich SWA.